Hi there, my name is Lucas and I'm a filmmaker and today I wanted to talk about why I updated my GH5 for a C200. So the GH5 has been my main shooter for over four years now and before the GH5 I had a GH4. So this camera kind of fit into everything for me and it always worked well. Um, sometimes just by readapting the lens or by adding a certain rig or using a gimbal made this camera the perfect tool for what I needed at the time. Uh, the reason why I decided to update and go for something like the C200 was that I was looking for a camera that could do what the GH5 does for me, but in a larger scale. My goal is to work with commercial videos, work with feature films, do high quality video content. But I needed the flexibility. I needed to, I needed a camera that is as great for a client work as it is for a short film. So when I decided to update my camera, I needed a camera that would fulfill those same needs, but in a larger scale. I wanna do a lot of commercials, short and feature films, but I wanna really high quality films. I want it to work on larger scales and I wanna make sure I'm always getting the best results. So for me, it was really important to get a camera that would do well in corporate as well as a short film. And sometimes those two can be very different needs. I consider getting a RED, I consider getting a Sony FS7. Um, I always found that the Sony FS7 might be the perfect camera for kind of the corporate aspect of things because it's very easy to use, very versatile for that kind of niche. And the uh, RED cameras obviously are known for their dynamic range, for their coloring and their whole profile, and they're perfect for short and feature films. I needed something in between. I needed something that with a minimal setup, it would work well for whatever I needed. I needed something that I could build up on. The C200, was that camera for me. With the MP4 4K capability of this camera, I can do any corporate shoot or any type of commercial in a great scale. Canon's raw capability makes this camera perfect for those big commercial shoots, for short films, for feature films, any productions that you wanna take the absolute most out of it, this camera can do it. With a simple handle or a hand grip, you can get amazing shots obviously because of the weight of the camera stabilizing becomes a lot easier uh i found that i just slapping a 24 to 105 on here and this camera is pretty much ready for anything something that i found very useful is the nd filter built in uh being able to dial things within your hands and just getting used to the camera where it becomes second nature for me that's what the gh5 has always been so great at i got very used to this camera and i know how to dial this camera with my eyes closed so whatever situation it was whatever it happened i could always readapt that camera without even thinking twice i'm still in the process of adapting to this camera but i feel like i've been doing it really well and understanding the buttons on the side and reprogramming things that fit better for you. All the skills and experience that you gather in this camera kind of comes with you to here. So straight out of the gate, you're getting great images. Now this camera allows you to take this even further and gets really the best image that you can possibly get. If you'd like to see more videos into the GH5 or the C200, let me know down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching and goodbye. Boy, 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 boy.